it's that time of the year, right? It's cooling off, the shad are moving up into the shallows, the fish are gorging, they're schooled up. It's the time to jack them on a jerk bait. Now, of course, we're sitting in the Mega Bass booth. You know that the Edo Vision 110 is gonna be on our jerk bait list to throw, but what other jerk baits go with the 110? What other jerk baits do we add in our arsenal to dissect fall fishing? So today we are gonna break down our top five favorite fall jerk baits so that you can catch more fish. So if you're ready, let's go. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. All right, so we're in that fall transition kind of mode. Depending on what part of the country you guys are in, you may be in full-blown fall. You might even be in early winter. Us here in Arizona, it's still 100 degrees, so we're calling it fall because, heck, it's the middle of October, so it should be cooler, right? But no matter what you guys are experiencing temperature-wise, bass are certainly driven and motivated by the moon calendar. So even if it's warmer than usual or colder than usual, they are still going to do certain things at the same time every year, and that is feed up in the fall months. The bait typically moves shallow with the cooler temps and the fish follow it, or the bait bails deep to try to find more stable temps and the fish follow it. So the fall is usually a great time of extremes where the fish either go shallow or deep. And one of the best ways to catch bass in the fall is with a jerk bait because it can fish shallow water, you can fish it out deeper, and it's an amazing bait to fish when they're suspended around schools of bait and following them in or out of creek arms. So today we're gonna to talk about our favorite baits to throw. And since we started talking about this in the beginning, Let's talk about this dude. So this is the Mega Bass Ito Vision 110. This is definitely a starting point for a lot of us here. The 110 is a great one because it comes in the regular size lip like what I have here. And this is great for that shallower fishing. If you're just trying to keep the bait in that four to six foot zone, it is also available in a plus one size, which gets down into that like eight to nine foot zone. And then it's available in a plus two size which can actually work down into that 15 16 foot zone and has the same action as the original 110 now what makes the 110 so good is that it has this little thinned lip here that allows you to just tap the slack on your rod and you get a two-in-one motion with this bait so every time you're tapping that bait is going one way and the bill is flexing slightly and then pushing it back the other direction so you get a very lifelike movement out of this guy now on the box, it calls it suspending, but this is actually a true slow floating jerk bait. So the bait's designed to pause nose down, and then depending on your water temps, this guy should just very slowly quiver up, or it may actually, as the water starts getting colder, it may slowly quiver downward as well. So keep that in mind. If your bait isn't quite truly suspending or floating, because of the water temp, it is going to adjust the way these things work in the water. The 110 is just a great all around choice to start. It's a half ounce, so it casts very easily. It can very simply work with just a light tap. You don't wanna overwork this bait. If you pull too hard or too erratic, then you're gonna actually blow this thing out. So it's just a nice, easy cadence with this guy. It's available in tons of colors. What I love about this guy is that there are some great matte finishes which in the fall can be very, very important. Matte finishes are typically great in darker water. So as we start getting those more, you know, the, those longer shadows from the trees, cloudy days, rainy days, those types of conditions, 
The matte finishes really show up well in the water and the fish can identify this as food very easily. So I love that about this lineup. And then I also love to go with like wakasagi type colors. So wakasagi is anything like the Galaxy Wakasagi, a Shiito Wakasagi, any of those. These are great starting points for all waters because it could be a Shad, it could be a Cisco, it could be a minnow of some form. It could basically match any forage. It's got all the right colors. So if you're trying to get your jerkbait box lined up for the fall, some matte colors, some wakasagi colors, and you're pretty much dialed. For me, if that's my starting point, my next go-to is staying in Mega Bass for a minute, and that is jumping to this dude, which is the Ito Shiner. Now, the Ito Shiner is a little bit bigger than the 110, and it has three weight transfer balls that go to the back, so it casts even better than the 110 does, and it has a much more erratic and wide movement under the water. This is a louder, more aggressive moving bait, and so this is a bait that I like to use on those mornings where it's windy, which it's almost always windy. So if you guys are getting out to the lake and it's just glass calm, throw the 110. It's a great one for that. But if you're getting out there and the wind's blowing and there's you know waves and ripples and noise in the water, Switching to the Edo Shiner is a great idea because it's going to create more noise under the water. It's going to give you the ability to fish it much more aggressively and get wider movements that fish really react to. So definitely check these dudes out. And the same thing, a natural shad patterns, some matte finishes, and you're pretty much dialed color-wise. Now, of course, if you guys are fishing perch and that kind of stuff, you're going to want to mix in some kind of perch or bluegill pattern also into there. Next for me, is one of my favorites and this is from OSP and this is the Rudra. Now I like the Rudra because it's even a little bit bigger yet than that Edo Shiner. It has the weight transfer system again inside so it casts like a dream. It's got that really nice kind of noise to it but it maintains its real tight movement and you get a lot of body flash to it. So even though you're getting that side to side jerk you're also getting that body flash so the fish are seeing the profile. So a lot of times in the fall, when that bait migrates back, it's big. So like out here, it could be gizzard shad, it could be big thread fin that are four or five inches long. When you have a full grown thread fin or a small gizzard shad, you need a bait that's going to represent that bigger profile. So the Rudra just does it for me. The other thing that's cool about the Rudra is that it comes in two versions. It comes in a true suspending version and then it comes in what they call a moderate slow float. So the suspending version is going to sit basically perfectly horizontal on the paws and the moderate slow float is going to be similar to the 110 where the nose and the head of the bait is going to kind of be down and it's going to moderately slowly float back up tail first and it just has that really nice little quiver on the lift. So if you guys are pounding shallow water, you're fishing it over weeds, you're fishing it over cockleburrs or you know brush, then the moderate slow float is amazing. If you're fishing more open water, suspended fish, then I usually go with the suspender. If it's just blowing like crazy and the fish are super active and I just need something to fish very, very quickly and have the most movement that I can get out of a bait, that's when I will switch over to a Lucky Craft Pointer 100. Now, the Pointer 100 is a little bit smaller size, a 100 millimeter versus a 110 or a 130, like some of these that I've been showing you. But the Pointer 100 is a much thicker lipped jerkbait. And it has a nice sound to it, it casts easy. It has internal rattles here in the middle, and it also has glass rattles in the head. So if you listen, this thing has a lot of sound. And it's kind of a two in one sound, right? So this thing's making a lot of noise under the water and because this lip is so thick that when you twitch it, instead of it being a real nice tight movement, it's a very wide, aggressive walk the dog under the water action that the fish love when they're very aggressive. So again, anytime that it's just noisy outside to me, it's either wind howling, waves slapping, whatever is happening, that's the same thing that those fish are hearing underneath, right? So I wanna switch up to something that's just got a little more oomph to call them up, and that's when the Pointer 100 comes into play. Color-wise, 
Same thing, I stay pretty natural. Chartreuse shad and striped shad basically cover it for me like 90% of the time. Uh, sometimes I'll add something a little shinier or something a little more transparent based on the sun and the water clarity, but that is a great one to have in the arsenal. And then finally, to round it out for me is a newer one that I've added to my arsenal, and this is from Jackal, and this is the Revoltage RV Minnow 110. Now, this one really kind of surprised me. I didn't think that this was gonna make it into my box, but every time I throw it, I catch fish on it, and it's a really cool jerkbait. What I love about this guy is that it's not a true silent jerkbait. There is a little sound, but it's very subtle. Let's see if you guys can hear it. So it's just a very quaint, subtle little sound inside. So this is a guy that I like to use when it's glass calm and I need the bait to be even more subtle in you know, appearance and sound, but I still need it to be aggressive in movement, if that makes sense. So the RV Minnow has a really wide body compared to these other jerk baits. You'll notice it's much rounder versus flat. So it's gonna have a very specific movement. You can put it right where you want it, twitch it, and it absolutely moves exactly the way you would think it was gonna move. It also has a lot of body roll to it. So you just get a different look than what you get in these with a virtually silent jerkbait that still throws really well. So if you're looking to calm it down and just chill out a little bit and not have so much noise, the RV Minnow 110 is a great one to add to the arsenal. All right, so that is a wrap. Those are our top five favorite jerk baits for fall fishing. I would love to hear what your guys' favorite jerk baits are for this time of the year. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Jeff will put links to all these baits as well. So if there's anything we can do to help you improve your jerk bait fishing this fall, please let us know. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Arigato gozaimasu. Peace out. Subscribe to the channel. Oh yeah, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell.